I've been a CPA for 35 years. I understand businesses. I understand taxes. I've hired hundreds of people. Uh, and I have uh, solutions where we can get more by spending less. We need to audit the Federal Reserve and it needs to be transparent and we need to know what's going on with our dollars when their banks are being bailed out. We need to uh, live up to promises to senior citizens. Uh, the biggest threat to people on fixed incomes is the exploding national debt and it causes inflation, uh, it um, deteriorates the values of pensions and social security, uh, but we need to live up to promises. A promise is a promise. When Henry Waxman came into office, uh, we had a half trillion dollar uh, national debt. Now it's pushing 16 trillion. When Henry Waxman came into office, we had 30,000 prisoners in California. Now we have 160,000. Henry Waxman is wrong on civil liberties. Uh, he supports the, the Patriot Act. He supports the uh, NDAA. Uh, he opposes uh, HR 2306, which would allow each, uh, each state to come up with its own policy with respect to marijuana. His biggest contributor is the Trial Lawyers Association. If you think uh, we have some problems in health care costs, that's Henry Waxman. He's also supported by the pharmaceutical industry, the prison union industry. Uh, a lot of people say, well, Henry Waxman's done a good job on environment. Well, he's a big supporter of the biggest polluter in the world, which is our Department of Defense. I can, I can beat Henry Waxman in the general election. I will take the voters on the right, and I will take the voters on the left, progressives, who are upset about civil liberties and our policies on military intervention and our, and our drug policies. We also have 100,000 troops in Germany and Japan. I mean, I don't know who we're, um, who we're fighting, uh, Tojo, Hitler, or Stalin, but I think it's time to bring home some of those troops. opposed to the uh, NDAA and uh, I would fight against it and I support any kind of effort to uh, nullify that. I oppose any kind of uh, drug testing of people for, for those purposes at all. And, and it's a violation of uh, their liberties it's a waste of tax dollars, and our drug laws uh, put people in poverty, uh, and testing them as some uh, convoluted means to get them out is not the solution. Not only uh, decriminalizing uh, marijuana, but taking other drugs and focusing on harm reduction instead of criminalization. Yes. We also have to carefully examine our, our parole policies and our mandatory minimums yes, yes. and the three strikes laws. <laughs> I'm holding all kinds of gatherings for all sorts of different sort of charitable events at my home. Uh, I'm having one this weekend. It's a LGBT function. Please check my website. I've got all kinds of functions like that going on. A uh, friend of mine came up and said, you know, you having a, these uh, LGBT functions, uh, you know, people think you're gay. And, and I said, well, if they think I'm gay, they also should think I'm black, and I'm Latino, and I'm a nonviolent drug offender, and, and I'm a woman.